We're looking at this storm system coming in on Tuesday, and it looks like it's going to have some punch to it. But why not just talk about how great it was today? In fact, the whole weekend, really Christmas Day, that afternoon was wonderful, and it's just been getting better. Today was the best of the lot. Temperatures got up into the mid-70s. There's a the day, there's the sun calling it a day. The official numbers today, believe it or not, the low this morning was 50 degrees. The average high this time of year is 56. The low was 50. 74 was the high, like I was saying earlier. That's a typical high in early April. There's a beautiful shot of Sundance Square, a beautiful place to look at here in the Christmas season with the tree. 69 degrees right now. Now, winds have turned to the north, northwest. A front has come through here in the last two hours across the Metroplex. You really can't tell much about it other than the wind shifted to the northwest. The air's a little drier. But look at this warm streak we have been on. These are daytime highs at DFW last 10 days, except for one exception, that day before Christmas, all of them above normal highs, with today being the warmest of the 10. Uh, that's that front that's come through the metroplex the winds have turned to the north not that cold air behind it i mean temperatures in Bowie and graham low 60s ahead of it we still got temperatures in the 70s like in corsicana one way you could tell the front was coming through the air was much drier the dew points plummeted now they're down to the low 30s so very dry air is in place we do have temperatures forecast to get down to the low 40s along the Red River and still be rather mild across our southeast counties in the upper 40s, even the 50s. But let's talk about what's ahead of us. Okay, you will notice something's up tomorrow because the clouds will be on building up. We'll start noticing some light rain drizzle coming up from the south. That picks up in intensity as we get into tomorrow night. But let's talk about Tuesday and Wednesday because that's when the bulk of this system comes in. By the time we get to Tuesday, we have a day of some fog, some clouds, temperatures in the mid-50s, it's cloudy, not a very pleasant day. But as we get into the evenings, that front starts to approach us, it kicks up a line of thunderstorms. They could be strong. Behind it, the cold air, it's going to drop a snow-rain mix. That's going to intensify as we get into Wednesday. Later in the day, that cold air is really going to pick up. So we end up with some of that across the Metroplex, probably not enough to accumulate on the roads. We'll wait and see. Ahead of the front will be very strong thunderstorms. All this will be tapering off as we get into New Year's Eve day, and hopefully by New Year's Eve itself, all of it will be gone. There's going to be some pretty good rains with this, as you can tell, maybe up to two inches of rain in some spots. So it's a big weather event. It peaks Tuesday night and Wednesday. It's around Thursday, the first half of the day, maybe even in the evening hours before it tapers away, and then New Year's Day will be dry but cold.